TLDR of this video, projectsecurity.io is live. Go enroll in the start of the program, building a cybersecurity home lab, a practical guide to offense and defense for free. No gimmicks, no strings attached. Just enjoy the free course. All right, so I'm launching a new free platform, projectsecurity.io. The goal of this platform is pretty straightforward. Cybersecurity training through home labs. Build a real world home lab, master the basics, and create a security portfolio along the way. That's it. This is a platform that I've been working on for some time to help you start transition into and ultimately level up your cybersecurity career and its career prospects. Practical experience while building your own security portfolio. Now to do this, I think the best way is to build your own security-based home lab. It's free, it's flexible, it's practical. There are a lot of cybersecurity training resources out there and ultimately project security is a representation of what I wish I had known while going through university and pursuing a security-based career. Building technical skills takes time, and being able to showcase those skills to your colleagues, coworkers, and potential recruiters is even better. Project Security ultimately aims to be a small part of your cybersecurity journey. So allow me to quickly overview what's inside today and where the platform is headed. The start of this program begins with the fundamentals known as Enterprise 101. Enterprise 101 is all about getting up and running with your environment through virtualization. So as you can see here on this page, you'll learn a little bit more about the course objectives, the expected outcomes, as well as what we'll be building within this perspective course. In this program, we are going to be developing out our foundations of corporate or the corp environment. So as you can see on this network topology here, we're going to be provisioning various different virtual machines representing an essential component of an enterprise or business environment. So as you can see, an email server, some emulated workstations, Microsoft Active Directory, as well as our own dedicated security server that's going to be running Wazoo, an open source tool. In this course, we're going to be simulating an end-to-end -end cyber attack. It's very basic, hypothetical for sure. And we're going to be also implementing various different detections throughout the life cycle to show how a cyber attack is detected. Now, all of this really is about building your essential IT skills. You need to know the fundamentals before you can, well, of course, apply security controls. So what this is about is building out our corporate or enterprise environment. And from here, we're going to be extending various different modules, such as network, cloud, and uh, other various different cool services to emulate a production environment, a development environment, and much more. So Enterprise 101 is the essential component of this platform. This program will have two ways to complete, as I realize that individuals like to learn in various different ways. So you have the video lectures, which is a step-by-step -step procedure of building out this content, this program, or you can also look or reference into the step-by-step -step guides. There is 12 respective guides, which build out the entire Enterprise 101 environment. So as you can see up here, on my project overview guide, there's a PDF guide with all of the different lab topologies and what we're gonna be building, as well as a quick overview of the various different tools that we'll be using throughout this course. And as you can see, here are all of my guides. So we do provide step-by-step uh, -step guides if you're an individual who doesn't wanna go through the lectures or video lectures and just read through the content at your own time. Of course, I do recommend that you look into the video lectures as they provide a little bit more context into why a particular setting or configuration is applied. I try to explain that rather than just saying um, you just do this or type this, for example. So I'm trying to attempt to do this. In addition to creating out an Enterprise 101 environment, there's two skills sections that I want to highlight. There is the virtual box, a primer on virtualization, as well as an introduction to Linux. So if you're an individual who doesn't know how to navigate the command line, the shells, programs, that is A-OK -okay because we're going to be doing that in the program, we're doing out some foundational stuff. In terms of minimum system requirements or prerequisites for this course, it is going to work on all modern versions of Windows, Mac OS, or major Linux distributions. Now, as you can see, there is a quick call out here for a minimum system requirements, eight gigabytes of RAM, four CPU cores, a stable internet connection, and 100 gigabytes of available storage is necessary for this course. If you are on a modern laptop or workstation, you probably likely do have these system specifications at this time. So there's not an extraneous amount of uh, content or compute that you need to be dedicated towards this particular section as it is all self-hosted through VirtualBox. So where is this platform project security headed? Well, let me quickly overview what I'm developing right now. 
as I've said before, Enterprise 101 is all about building out that corporate network or corp environment, as you can see on that network topology. Now, in additional modules that are upcoming, what I'm developing right now in the content is the production network, the production side of things. So we are emulating a fictional business. And in this business, we're going to be con developing some very basic websites as well as some cloud infrastructure to host our production environment. We're going to be learning about the basics, the essentials of web and cloud network attacks, as well as their essential infrastructure that powers those uh, respective systems. So that is all coming soon. And as you can see, this is kind of where we are headed. So the platform or project security, where is it headed? As you can see in this project path, this is where I want to be heading in terms of content development. So right now I am launching that Enterprise 101 module, but as you can see, we have three additional sections or modules that will be created. And all of this will be encapsulated in what we call a security portfolio. So we're gonna be building out a small little GitHub or Cloudflare pages website, showcasing what we're doing in our cybersecurity home lab, as well as just some additional sections. And that's gonna be its own dedicated module course. And as I mentioned, there's going to be three additional modules. So networks and attacks, web and attacks, and respective cloud attacks. They're gonna be uh, building out our essential components of enterprise IT, as well as the production environment. It's gonna be very simple, but it's essential to learn about those various different underlying technologies and the attacks that are still occurring to this day. And then finally, there's going to be modules, basically various different skills sections or components, which are going to be adding into these essentials. So there's going to be a forensic section, for example, or malware analysis, SOC 101, as well as some content development, such as building out info stealers or honeypots, uh, some very fun little crash courses here and there that are going to be developed. So as of right now, I'm looking for your feedback. And so as we go throughout this entire program, what I'm hoping is that you can provide feedback for me in terms of, is this content helpful? Is it useful? Are you learning stuff? And well, you can of course do this in a few ways. Project security is all about giving you a start to your curated home lab environment, setting you up with the foundations and then sparking your own innovations for your next level growth with security training and building that portfolio. The second part of project security is through its community. So right now I'm attempting to build out an active community of students, enthusiasts, and professionals to really just grow and connect with each other. Right now, this is in the representation of simply a Discord server. Uh, what I would like to do is build a community that starts with individuals who really want to grow and connect with one another and also share their stories, share their different home lab permutations, learnings, and just their overall projects and growth. I really want to build an active community where no one is lost. Everyone is a part of this and whether you are just beginning in your journey or perhaps you're a seasoned professional, well, it's a community that you can be a part of. So I'm thrilled and excited to announce this free platform launch. Again, there's no gimmicks, no strings attached. Uh, so go f sign up for that free course and see what you think about it. Please provide feedback as you go throughout that course. And I'm looking forward to developing those additional modules with curated user feedback such as you. So you are an essential component of, well, project security. So you are welcome again to use the link in the description below. No gimmicks, no strings attached. Okay, so yeah, with that being said, hopefully this video finds you well. I'm really, like I said, this is kind of like a new, I guess, phase into this channel as I'm really trying to be uh, an individual who can help others while also being mentored by others, if you know what I mean. So um, I hope that your new year is off to a great start. And well, until the next time, have a good day.